Today on Made to Hack, I make high-end audio cables. In a previous video, I reviewed a pair of so-called audiophile cables that were really expensive. The first step was to cut two lengths of wire to approximately two meters in length. For this project, I decided to use this copper braided shielded cable from Helicable. It has a pair of stranded cores one quarter millimeter in diameter, or approximately 23 American wire gauge. I stripped back the insulation so that you can see how the wire is made. Some companies, such as Blue Jeans Cable, use coax wires for their audio interconnect cables. Coax cable has the added benefit of also having an aluminium shield that wraps the dielectric as well as having a copper braid. However, for my needs, I find coaxial cable to be much too heavy and not sufficiently flexible. With the cable cut to dimension, it was time to get started on the polyester sleeve. This braided polyester sleeve would add an extra layer of protection and durability as well as giving the cable a professional premium feel. When making cables, it is sometimes confusing to have to work backwards. However, once the connectors get soldered in place, we can't add anything else to the cable. With the sleeve put on, I moved on to the RCA connectors I got from Amphenol. These high quality Australian connectors are made from durable brass, which is then gold plated. I have contacted Amphenol, and they have confirmed that these connectors are indeed handcrafted in Dave Jones' backyard by Nude Virgins. With the connectors inserted over the sleeve and the cable, it was time to strip the isolation on one end by measuring the length required. I then stripped the interior stranded pair of cables and the copper braid and tinned them with solder. The pair of stranded wires was soldered together to carry the audio signal, while the copper braid was soldered to the connector case to carry the negative or return signal. With the soldering complete, I crimped the connector to the outside insulation and sleeve. In this close-up picture, you can see how the connector should crimp and grab the outside insulation. With one end of the cable complete, I proceeded to trim the other end of the sleeve. When working with polyester sleeve, try to cut it with a sharp side cutter or utility knife and burn at the end with a lighter so that the braid doesn't start unraveling. With this step complete, as on the other end, I stripped the outside insulation and the interior stranded pair and proceeded to solder the wire to the connector.
With the first cable complete, I proceeded to check continuity and to make sure I had no shorts as well as checking the resistance. After I followed all the same steps to make the second cable and complete the pair, I removed my old RCA interconnect cables and plugged in my new audio cables. And as you can tell, the work is fine as I recorded this voiceover using my new cables. Briefly, I just wanted to mention balanced audio cables, namely this XLR cable I used to use with my microphone before I installed my mic stand. I had made this cable using plain old regular household wiring that I got from the hardware store. It had no special shielding or any extra braiding, just the three regular stranded conductors of household wiring, yet it worked fine. Although I don't understand the physics involved, apparently having a balanced AC signal somehow cancels out most if not all RFI, and EMI and signal integrity is maintained. On to the bill tally. Those premium Afinal connectors cost around 3 euros each or about 12 euros for all four. The length of wire used totaled just under 3 euros. And finally, the polyester sleeve was 1 euro 50. Therefore, the grand total of a pair of high quality professional RCA audio interconnect cables, a little over 16 euros and 50 cents were almost a hundred times less expensive than the audiophile cables I joked about reviewing. This is proof that high quality audio cables do not need to be expensive. If you don't believe me, send me your high end audiophile cables and I will review them against my cables. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing. I regularly put out new videos, so stay tuned for more. You can also find Made to Hack on the web and on social media.